convenience store food at after midnight. <laughs> Classic. I mean, if you're talking about honest living in Korea, this is what it is. One thing I miss is obviously black tea because you can't really get that here. I found Twinings the other day and what you would normally get, those little cute ones, I think you can get them on special for like two bucks in Australia, but here they're like ten. Ten dollars. So I thought instead of just putting up with it and buying Twinings, which isn't my favourite anyway, I would just pay the extra, or which ends up to be equivalent anyway, and getting T2. Because they ship internationally, which I was really happy about, because I drink T2 anyway, so I thought, I'll do that. <laughs> Let you know, by the way, T2 is an Australian brand of tea, which Australians take our tea very, very seriously. We are take it that from our um, British cousins. <laughs> I think Australians take everything seriously. We do, we do. We're very serious people. But um, our tradition is, we take our traditions seriously. Mm. And drinking black tea, black tea is one of those things. Just a disclaimer though, I did actually order green tea in this as well, because I do like green tea. <laughs> so I ordered this about a month ago, I think, and so it's finally came today. So, uh, yeah, in Australia it takes ages. For things to... Did it come faster here? No. no. Same? For All longer here? Oh, longer here, yeah, for oh. sure. Yeah, international, I don't know what it is about Australian post. Maybe just because it's like an island. <laughs> an island middle. far, far away. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. No one cares. Wow. Wow! Go, go, go. Oh, yes. Let me just have some more. <laughs> Let me just... Look how cute my nephew is. So much packaging. Oh, oops. Sorry. This is what comes in. Actually, you know what? I'll get my other camera and do a aerial. This is what's in the box. So have a nice look. It's actually quite nicely presented. Mm. And I'm hoping that this hasn't broken at all. It doesn't look like it got shook up at all. No, it looks very well preserved. Alright, so let's have a look at what is in here. So, first we have... Okay. Uh, try tea... Try chai? Try chai. Which is basically just... Oh no, it is different chai teas. Okay, I saw this online and it was on special, so I got this what instead. What is chai? You don't know what chai is? I'm from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> All we drink is sweet tea. Okay. Let me educate you. I don't know. Chai is just like a... It's spice. It's a spice. Chai spice. Can you smell it? I can smell it a little bit. I'll open it up. Yeah, it kind of smells like Christmas. Yeah. 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 It's the cinnamon... Cinnamony... Smell, I think. Get that smell of vision. First thing. Second thing is... Okay, this is the one that I mainly wanted, which is the T25, which is the different, uh, the English breakfasts. So I, my favorite is the Melbourne breakfast and the New York breakfast. I really enjoy the English breakfast as well. And I saw that they had Irish breakfast and Singapore breakfast. I think I haven't seen Singapore breakfast before. Mm. And so I wanted to try that. The Melbourne breakfast is infused with uh, vanilla. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's all black tea as well, but they all taste different. I swear they taste different. New York breakfast which is cinnamon and vanilla. So I've never tried this one and I was curious to try the Irish breakfast. Yeah, so okay, this... This smells like proper... <laughs> this smells like proper English breakfast tea, to be honest. Wait, not infused with anything? No. This one, the English breakfast, the actual English breakfast, Tastes a bit more posh than your normal English breakfast. Mm. If it was like Lipton's or something. Oh, um, this smells. This smells more like a Lipton's breakfast tea. <laughs> something, something, something. Coconut. It's supposed to have like a coconut smell. I think. Mm. I can't read. Really a little tropical. Also, is it 
Singapore or Singapore? No, no, single. S sing? Singapore. Sing, like singing? Like the place. Yeah, no, no, I know that. How do you say it? Singapore. Ooh, ooh. Does it smell like coconut? Yeah, but it smells, it smells really good. Like a nutty, <laughs> nutty as well. Okay, next we have the white, white coca. A white tea, which you can get. Oh, what? Like white coffee beans. Same thing. What? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> Is there a way to open it's it? It's just fancy. It looks good though. Mm. It looks the mulchiest. Yeah. Well, the so, so far. far. Yeah. yeah, so far. So this is the green tea that, again, my colleague wanted. Mm. So I got this for her as well. <laughs> Sorry, it's really late at night. Uh, oh my gosh. Cool. Okay. Oh wow, there's so many different ones. Okay, so we have in here, this is the green tea box. Uh, of the greatest greens apparently. Okay, so the first ones I had, I've actually tried both of the, the Gorgeous Geisha and the Geisha Getaway, and I know one of them has strawberry, dried strawberries in them, mm. infused, and the other one has Ooh. pineapple in it. Ooh, yes. There you go, so Gorgeous Geisha has the strawberries, and then Geisha Getaway has the pineapple bits, and coconut in them. So I actually really like these as an iced tea. The, what is it? Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Uh, the ingredients is green tea and peppermint oil. Ooh. So that would be an interesting one. I'm quite curious about this, actually. Like, how many cups of tea will each of those little sachets make? Is that what it's called? Packets. Yes, so for the loose leaf one, for those types of packets, <laughs> and it should say on the box, but from memory... From memory. <laughs> okay, <package>. so one sachet. <laughs> And well, I was gonna say two cups of tea, mm -hmm. proper, or oh. one pot of tea, mm -hmm. which you can have many cups of. Mm -hmm. um, so one sachet per 500 mils. Okay, next we have one perfect day, which is three loose leaf teas. Ooh. Yeah, this is the one that I got. <laughs> I couldn't remember. No, this is the one that I got. I went a little bit crazy on mm. the ordering of things. Mm. I was only wanting to get more black tea. <laughs> And I was like, oh, this chai looks good, and this one's all special, and all the rest of it. These are actually just called Good Morning, Good Afternoon, and Good Evening Teas, which I thought was really cute and kind of really Australian <laughs> of us. We're very big on morning tea and afternoon tea mm. and evening. Each black tea is different. Mm. I know that by the taste. Yeah, you can taste the difference between them. <laughs> What is this panma? Chundema, please. <laughs> what Show me some respect. Anya? <laughs> yeah. What? You're younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. But like, know your place. This smells more like black tea than I'm used to. Yeah, I think so too. It smells quite average. Yeah. Okay. Like straight black tea. Like, I would make sweet tea with this. Yeah, so this one smells more spicy. spicy. So then we have the good afternoon one, and it says it's. I saw it mentioned Germany. Oh no, Germany. <laughs> it's packed in Germany. For it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, inject a bit of spark into a slow afternoon. This medium-bodied blend has a light finish and a dose of dazzle that will see you through the clock off time. <laughs> Nice. I thought that the good morning one would be more spicy, but apparently not. It's just normal tea. What do you think? It smells good. No, it smells good. Okay, good evening. This is actually quite nice. Uh, so it says it has floral notes, Ooh. meaning that it should smell a little bit florally. Fancy. <laughs> and the ingredients are black tea and this one also says green tea as well which is quite smart I think for an evening tea usually when I would drink a strong black tea in the morning mm. and by the evening I change I usually switch to green tea I can smell some of the green tea in there as well actually that's quite noticeable okay, next we have a fancy thing fancy package it's New York breakfast! Again? Yeah, I, uh, I ordered quite a bit of New York. I got free saucer and cup in my order because of how much tea I um, ordered. Yeah. 
Which didn't end up costing too much, I don't think. Mm. Actually, you don't want to know. Getting into your box and popping the uh, bubble wrap, the best. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I saw it online and it looked really cute. <gasps> Whoa, look how pretty it is. Oh, look at that saucer. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Are they a matching set? Yeah, it's a matching set. Oh, like this part matches. I see. So, how was your experience with Australian tea? It's very confusing. <laughs> it can be. <coughs> I don't know. I, I honestly don't know why tea too is such a big thing in Australia and why we like our tea so much to the mm -hmm. point that we have a chain store for tea. <laughs> to me now, it feels odd that we have such a weird sub thing. Subculture? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Tell me what your thoughts are. Is it weird that Australians like their tea so much to the point that they have different styles? Let me know. Did you know? In, in, let me know if you knew that that was an Australian thing. Because I am I think I can safely say it's an Australian thing. That we love our tea. Let me know if you like sweet tea. <laughs> Where are my southerners? <laughs> If you like Kate and you think she's cute and you want to hear more of her voice, subscribe to her channel, hit that like button, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever she posts, and of course leave a comment down below letting her know how gorgeous she is and how much you like Australian tea. Ooh, so this is the Melbourne breakfast that I had already because I couldn't be bothered to use the new one. But we're going to add milk into it because we're Australian. That's what we do. <laughs> it's just kind of hot water and milk. <laughs> maybe it's an acquired taste. Or maybe I didn't put enough in for you to taste it. I don't know. I can taste it very well, maybe. It's like awesome. I can smell it really well. Mm. I don't know if I can... Oh god, this is amazing. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Brynn. You made this so much better. <laughs> I mean, since I've been low energy the whole video, I have yawned the entire time. Alright, we'll see you in